Yo guys, welcome back to another episode of Crazy Combo Decks. In the last episode, we looked at Needle King with Metagross. And you know what? We're going back to Steelix today. In the first ever episode of Crazy Combo Deck, we looked at Mega Steelix with Kiawe. That video did really well. You guys really liked it. And it really did kick off the series in a great way. I gotta thank you guys for all the support on that video. And this time, we're looking at Baby Steelix today. Um, and we're gonna be trying out Baby Steelix in Expanded with Victini. And we're going to see how funny the deck is. Again, this is a series where we look at fun deck combos that mesh well together. We're going to see if they end up working. If you guys have any other crazy deck combo video ideas, uh, drop a comment down below. And I'll consider doing one. And if I like the idea so much, then I'm like, screw it. We're going to make a video on that for crazy combo. So yeah, this deck is going to be Steelix with Victini. And we're going to be playing an expanded, not because we have access to a beautiful looking Full Art Victini from Noble Victories. No, because we have Bronzong. Okay, Bronzong is here for Metal Links. I mean, Steelix, his attack needs 5 energy. That's not easy to pull off. Now, we could use it with Kiawe again, but, I mean, at that point, I mean, this is getting lazy. So, in Expanded, you have Bronzong, which could be a really good way to build up your Steelix. Um, you have Metal Links, which is really good. Put him energy from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. So, we're going to Bronzong, you know, put energy onto our Steelix and go from there. That's going to be the whole combo there. Um, and of course we have Victini with the reflip ability with Victory Star. It will allow us to reflip Iron Tail. Iron Tail for 5 energies does 100 damage. And then you flip a coin to get Tails, it does 100 damage times the number of heads. So it's a very inconsistent attack. Because one, you need like 5 energy, which Tapu Lele and Gardevoir and Mewtwo and Baby Mewtwo and Aspion. And they're just going to eat that attack up for breakfast. But we can get 2 heads and do 200 damage, which is pretty awesome. Um, we don't play Choice Band, we'll talk about my choices for the tools in a moment. Um, so we're going to try and just win games with Iron Tail, comboed with Victini. We have some support, we do have a Mega Evolution. One good thing about Mega Steelix is it does give you Fighting type. So now when you're playing against Darkrai, um, which is one of the most popular decks in Expanded right now is Darkrai, and something like Raikou, which is very popular too, um, now you have good typing against them, and now you have a way to actually knock them out with Canyon Axe, or... If you, you know, since we're running on this theme of Iron Tail, we're going to be playing one Celebi in here too. Um, just to be able to use Iron Tail and stuff like that. Or sometimes we can use Steelix's first attack with Celebi on Mega Steelix to knock out Dark Rise. That could be important because it needs only 4 energy, which, I mean, it's still 4 energy for 130 damage. It's not anything better, but hey, whatever. It cuts it for the moment. Um, and kind of why we got that. I think the Mega Steelixes are important, again, just to be able to have one more HP, and two, so you can counter Darkrai, um, which is one of the most popular decks in the format. We do play one Megirna. Mystic Heart can be very useful to have on your Pokemon. Also, Megirna can be a nice, you know, attacker that's easier to build up than Steelix. Um, same thing with Tapu Lele. Of course, we do play our double Leles. We do play one Keldeo just for Russian. Russian with Bronzong's ability is really, really powerful. Also, we can use it to get out of Hypnotoxic Lasers, Paralysis, Confusion, you name it. Keldeo has got our back, so we're going to be playing one Keldeo. Um, we also do have the 3 3 Bronzong. We even got this Payback Bronzong, which, you know what? It's not a bad attacker in, like, the wackiest situation possible. And we got our Metal Links. We play a 3-3 line of Bronzong here. We got our two Victinis. I'm going to play a split of the one from Guardians Rising. And, of course, we got to play the fuller one. I think I have... I'm pretty sure I have, um... I think I have the Victinis from Noble Victories, right? Yeah, okay. I have one of these two, but, you know what? We're going to use the fuller and uh, the one with 70 HP. Because it's still better to have the 70 HP one than the 60 HP one. Um, but of course we're going to play because it you know, looks cool. Um, so we go into the trainers. We do play one battle comp. This is a deck where getting metal in the discard pile is important. I can't find much room for much more, honestly. One computer search to be able to search out any card we want. I'm pretty sure computer search is like super expensive. I remember when I when this card was like maybe around like 10 packs or so. Now it's like I think over 20 packs, which is nuts. Um, we did play one field blower. Again, it's expanded has so many more cards than standard, so it's really hard to make room for a lot of cards from standard like field blower and stuff like max elixirs, but we will play one blower. We're gonna play three max elixirs. It helps speed up the deck a little bit, and maybe we can pull off like a turn one Steelix attack with its first attack. One stretcher to get back our Pokemon. You can also put Karen in the deck too, which I think Karen would be another really good option since uh, Night March is very popular and Flareon, which could give you problems. Four Ultra Balls to search out your deck for any cards you want. Four VS Seekers for the supporters. 
We got one Colrus for draw support. Our bench will be full most of the time. I mean, we're playing a deck with Bronze on. So yeah, most of the time our bench will be full. We do play a split of Guzma and Lysander. We got our three ends for draw support. We got three Sycamores for draw support also. Um, Sycamore's really good with the metal. We got two Float Stones, mainly, you know, you can use with Keldeo's Russian. Um, we got two Wish of Baton. I went with Wish of Baton over, like, this deal like Spirit Link or, like, some, like, Choice Band or something like that. The reason why I went with Wishful Baton is because Steelix needing five energy to attack is nuts. And it's not easy to pull that off even with the help of Bronzong and double colorless energy. So we're gonna play Wishful Baton to continuously attack with Steelix every turn if it gets knocked out. I just like having it in here. Four DCEs since Steelix desperately needs it. And we got a total of 10 metal energies. I think 10's a good amount. Um, maybe you can go 9 if you really wanted to. You can run 9 metals. Um, maybe throw in like another battle comp. Maybe throw in something like an AZ or something. Again, this is pretty tight on space. We got options. So we are going to be playing 10 medals. Um, so yeah, this is my uh, Steelix Victini deck for crazy combo deck time, boys. And let's go find some matches with this deck on PC Joe. See you in action. And uh, let's uh, laugh at the memes this deck will create. Right, let's go guys. find some games and expand it with this deck. Definitely not giving away some other crazy combo deck ideas that I got in mind if you can uh, see those two decks right there. Um, I kind of want to do that uh, Kirim video even without um, it being crazy combo deck. Um, we're going to go find a game with our deck. First time playing against a Psychic deck, which is fine. You know, we got that resistance to Psychic, which is pretty dang cool. Uh, might be Garboder, which I think we can still beat even if, you know, Garboder is Garboder. So we'll flip a coin. Let's see what we get. Hey, okay. So Toad Dial is coming in clutch for us. Um, the thing with Expanded, though, I tend to run into less competitive decks sometimes, like, people, like, playing, like, random decks that aren't, like, the best decks in the world, so hopefully, you know, maybe we can get, like, an actual good, decent competitive match, and I'm not trying to roast anyone who plays this format, but I'm just saying. Uh, by the way, I am drinking Coke for anyone who's sick and I'm drinking something else. I'm drinking Pop. Um, you know, it gives me some energy while I record. And, okay, so it looks like my opponent is finally hurrying up. Uh, we do mulligan here. We do play quite a few basics. Um, ideally, we want to start with Steelix, maybe even Keldeo, or uh, maybe Bronzor. Definitely not Victini or Celebi. Celebi probably is our worst starter because it's got, like, no HP at all. You could run Jirachi in here, too, just because it is a metal type. If you're, like, crazy and want to have Jirachi in the deck, be my guest. I like Magirna more because uh, Magirna can actually counter your uh, Gardevoir pretty well. Okay, we get the Lele start. That's fine. Um, bit of a doozy hand though. Or they get rid of two Max Elixirs which, without, bleh, without even using them, which isn't very fun. We're discarding two Pokemon too. So Stretcher is going to be our best friend right now. We'll see what kind of Psychic deck it is. It's probably going to be Garbodor. Most likely going to be Garbodor. We'll see. Sigilyph. Okay, well, we can't attack him with Lele, or not with Lele, with Steelix. I'm tempted, honestly, just to pass, because I really don't want to get rid of these three items, but I kind of have to. i got to get something going. I got some Pokemon down, so we're going to have to do it. Hmm. More or nothing. All right, we can put Bronzor down. Uh, I could Computer Search, but I think I'll keep it. I don't know if he's playing Garbodor, though. We've just converted three items. I think I'll pass, and then I'll do this next turn. That's fine. I might even grab Keldeo next turn with that search. I don't want to, like, I would have comp searched away Steelix and the Metal Energy and probably grab maybe, like, a Steelix or something, or another Bronze Orb. I don't want to do that. Hey, I put that down. Definitely not like I have this uh, Field Blower in my hand. But again, he's most likely playing Garbodor, but I gotta watch out for that. So... Yeah, it's kind of the logic behind not wanting to play as many items. Though we just burned through three items off of one Sycamore. Speaking of Sycamore... Okay, yeah. It's not got a Trevenant deck. I mean, Trevenant's not too bad. The item lock could be annoying, possibly. Maybe you could put Hex Maniac in here too, but hey, that would completely shut down Big Teeny. So, yeah, that's not a good idea. Never mind, don't do that. Don't, 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 don't add, uh, don't add that in the deck. We see an Acro Bike. I think I just got rid of another Baby Trev. I mean, I don't see item lock Trev, so I don't really know what's happening. My opponent's actually going to put energy on. Maybe we can actually knock him out this turn. I don't know. I'll actually, yeah, I think we're going to be short, actually. I don't know. But I am going to do Ultra Ball over Computer Search. Since I was probably going to Computer Search for a Pokemon. 
And I think I'm, I'm gonna get Oh, Keldil's prize! No! Alright, well, I guess we'll get another bronze ore then. So I gotta find my rest stretcher, get back those Steeluxes. Um. That messed me up a bit. Alright, well we'll do field blower and we'll end him here and hope for the best. A DC would be really nice. Mmm. We got it, but still no Steelix. Um which is not nice. And I guess we're just gonna have the energy drive. I don't want to do max elixir on a bronze or that'd be stupid. We can hit him for 80. We're actually 10 short, so again, if we were able to get Keldeo. We would have been able to probably win the game, but nope. So, yeah. I'm gonna definitely end him. There's no way I'm gonna do a Sycamore. Um, but I haven't seen a Garboder. He's gonna find a Fury Belt, which doesn't really matter because he's already super weak. Unless he does a Center Lady, which he has in his discard, so I guess he's gonna do Via Seeker for Center Lady. I'll be curious to see if he plays, um, what's his face? Item Lock Trev. So we see a Psychic. Does 90, but... I am gonna live. Got more DCE. I don't know, do we want to end him here? Because he didn't do much else last turn, but I kind of have to though. I can't do Sycamore. Guess we end him. This is so sad. We find a Steelix. Ah, right, nice. Um, we got Bronze on too, but I don't want to get rid of anything in this hand. So once again, we're kind of stuck here. So I guess we just energy drive, and the next turn we'll grab Bronze on. So. I don't think Layla's gonna get knocked out unless he drops like a Mewtwo or something like that. More energy is nice, but no Rescue Stretcher, which is not nice. I want to get a Mega Steelix down. In case he's playing Garb, at least we're gonna have 240 HP to work with over 180. But yeah, we'll see if Layla lives his turn. If he's playing the other Trevenant with the Breakpoint one, I think it's from Breakpoint. Um, we'll see if that affects him at all. I mean, if he's not playing the XY one, I'm, I mean, I'm a happy camper. <laughs> He's discarded too. I don't know how many Trevs he plays. We'll find out, I guess. Flare Gun. I knew he was gonna. I knew. I saw. I knew he was gonna do some kind of energy discarding card. In my head, I, I was thinking that. Oh, are you? I knew that was gonna happen. I should have. I should have. I should have said that out loud. Because that would have been another prediction. I would have gone right. Oh my god, dude. That's two DCs down already. Luckily, we are playing Bronze on them, of course. If he goes into that Trevenant 2, I can't attack it with Tapu Lele. Which is why I wanted to keep the DC on it. And he is going into it, too. Because, of course, you know, let's play this Trevenant. The bad one. Ooh. Okay. Um. Alright. That's cool. Grab ourselves a Bronze Zingzong here. Put a floatstone on it, we'll drop Victini, we'll metal links, and do Sycamore. Can we find Rescue Stretcher? We do not. Just a bunch of metals. I can't, I mean, he's only doing 70, but if I do attach, I'm gonna get knocked out if he drops like a DC or a Dimension Valley, so I think I just keep attaching to Steelix here. What else can I do? I guess we can put the Wishful Baton on and pass. At least this way we can probably attack him next turn. We still have our comp search, I think, so we can grab a DC if worse comes to worse. Tool Scrapper. Well, never mind! And he gets rid of that Float too, which is pretty bad. We have one in our hand, but now I don't have Floatstone Keldeo. Question is, is he attacking this turn? I mean, if not, this is giving me more time to build up a Steelix, which is good. Okay, depends on what his other card in his hand is. Is it an energy, a supporter? Let's find out. Um, wait, does Magirna? I don't think its ability works. Yeah, okay. I was thinking Magirna's ability would prevent Trev's ability. Of course, his last card is an energy. Okay, we've only used one via Seeker, so I can afford to do Sycamore here. Um, we'll see what ends up happening this turn. 
think I'm gonna put my gear in it down. It's not a bad attacker. Uh, I think I just go Sycamore and try and hit DC so I can go for uh, the attack here. I think I gotta attack him too with Wild Edge. When I'm with Steelix, all I get is Wild Edge thoughts. Alright, here we go. We are going to go Sycamore. We do find the DC. We even got a Max Elixir, which I don't think we'll find anything. Oh, never mind. It did. Ooh, this is actually not too bad. Because now I can attack. I'm, I'm going to Wild Edge him, though, because it's too risky to do Iron Tail. I'm going to Metal Links. I'm even going to put an extra energy on in case he does, like, another Flare Ground or Hammer or something stupid. And we are going to Retreat, and we are going to Wild Edge him. I'd love to Iron Tail him, but the odds of us hitting <laughs> double heads is not going to be very likely. Um, and it's only 20 damage. We still have 160 HP, which is still quite a bit. We'll get a prize. There's our Keldeo, though it's kind of too late for him to be in play. I'd rather have gotten my other bronze on there. But I think we're in cruise control right now. We are going to see an Ascension. That doesn't matter, though, because we're still smacking him. I don't think Nervous Seed... Okay, so technically the DC is allowing us to attack. There's a the Hammer. I'm glad I did the uh, Metal Links then. Hopefully that other prize he got was not an energy or an item, which it didn't look like it was. And he's going to get Trevenant. Is it going to be the item lock one? It is. Okay, well, that's fine. I'm tempted to just bring out Chandelure here, honestly. I'm going to attach to Megirna. You know, why not build up Megirna here? Not a bad attacker. Um, you know, Megirna technically could knock him out. If we had another Bronzong, I would love to do it. And I'm not really too worried about Trevenant. Um, Chandelure could be... I don't know. Curse Drops isn't threatening. Toxic Croak, I guess. Yeah, let's just grab Toxic Croak. I don't know. I, I uh, whatever. Well, via Seeker and grab ourselves Sycamore just in case. All right, maybe I could have grabbed Lysander and then try to win next turn too. That's fine. Let's just go for Iron Tail and try and get double heads. Let's reflip. Hopefully, we don't get double tails. No, Steelix, why you do this to me? <gasps> no. Ah, oh, dang it, dude. I shouldn't have went for that. I should have just. Nah, whatever. He finds an energy. He's gonna triple poison me. Jokes, Magirna, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot about Magirna. Rip my bad guys. Um, we are gonna go Ultra Ball here, and we're gonna get ourselves another Steelix down. Yeah, I completely forgot about Magirna in play for a moment. The many misplays of Little Dark Fury. And we'll Metal Links once again to Steelix. And we're gonna go for that Iron Tail once again. Are we gonna get double heads? That's a Tails. Any? He... Oh, he concedes. Well, I guess so. Um, that was a pretty funny match, though, I'm not gonna lie. And let's see what we get. 25 coins. Okay, cool. Did he play any Garbodors? Mm, didn't look like he did. Oh, he played an invisible card. No, I'm kidding. Invisible cards, that's funny. Um, that was a decent match. I like that. Let's find another match with our deck, of course. Okay, so before we get into the second match, I did edit the deck a little bit, and I'm probably going to have some text in the deck explanation part of the video saying that I did indeed edit the deck. Basically, what I did was I ended up throwing in, um, I, well, first off, I took out all the max elixirs from the deck, and I ended up throwing in a second field blower because I feel like I needed that. Um, I also threw in a uh, third float stone because I found that three was a lot better than two. I really liked having that, and I also threw in a fourth Bronzor, because I found that I was just getting turns where I was not getting that many Bronzors in play, or I was just straight up whiffing, so at least with four Bronzors, it increases the odds of us starting with them, or not starting, but getting them into play a little easier than just having three. Um, so yeah, I decided to get that out of the way, and we are going to go back to finding some matches with our deck. Probably one game, honestly. Kind of getting a little tired of playing this game because I've been trying to find matches with this deck before I edited it, and I was like, okay, yeah, this is this is not fun. So we're gonna we're gonna get another match with our deck. And I'll probably round out the video. Depending on how long it is, if it's a short game, we'll get two. And we are up against a can't tell. He's got so many types in there. Grass, colorless. He's even got a Vika Bulu. Uh, not a. I just said Vika Bulu. He's got a Bulu deck box so that's interesting we get a lele start um depends if other lele's prized i'll start with it we have dc in our hand uh, whatever 
Maybe I could have flopped stone. Yeah, but it is what it is. It is what it is. We'll work with what we got. Vespa Quinn. Oh, he's playing Flareon too. Or Zoark. I seem to be getting trolled today. With... I'm playing against so many standard decks. Alright, good. Sadly... Oh, I don't want to do this, but... It looks like we're going to have to do Sycamore. And yeah, we're going to have to dump... We're going to have to dump two of our Versus Seekers, which is not fun. I miss the days where this, this, this happened. I miss Via Seeker. They need to reprint it. At the same time, I don't miss days where you had to dump Via Seekers away. Okay, we do find Bronzor. We got Magirna, which we can attack with. And I think we'll pass. I would have liked to have gone a few medals in the discard there that turn, but it is what it is. We're a battle compressor. We're coming handy. Kind of wish I had Karen though. Um, I can't tell if he's playing a standard version or an expanded version of Vespa Quinn. I would have really liked to have done Karen. I don't know if he plays Battle Comfort or not. He's going to grab an N, which I'm cool with. Resets my hand, which is nice. This just sucks we had to lose those to be a Seekers. He's putting a lot of Pokemon down, which I like. Mega Steelix isn't bad here, just because we do have that extra health once again. It's always nice to have. We are going to see an N, and let's see what our new hand will be. Okay, that's actually really good. We can attack him this turn with Steelix. Or Lele, but probably Steelix is better. We can even knock him out with Lysander, which I think I'll try and do, depending on how many Vespaquins he gets in play. Force a Giant plays is banned, so he doesn't have Forest anymore with Vespaquin, which is actually pretty relevant, because one thing Vespaquin liked to abuse was Forest. And he plays Klefki, that's something to note, but that's whatever. Of course he... <laughs> well, I guess we will get rid of these two, and I'll try and Lysander the Lele and knock it out. I mean, actually, you know what? Let's just play a little more. Let's play this cooler, and let's just let's just poke this thing, and just let's just damage the uh, the combi. Um, I guess Sycamore. I don't want to lose my Lysander, considering he's playing the X's. That's one of the ways we can win. But whatever. Better than just going into a Steelix here. So might as well energy drive him. Take a prize card. And, okay, cool. Yeah, at least this way we can even maybe, you know, put another energy on and start one-shotting his, uh, Vespaquins. But, that's one of our Lysanders. We didn't use it. Two Via Seekers gone. We only have Guzman, two Via Seekers left. So we only have three chances of doing Lysander now. Are you serious? Choice ban with that? I don't have a Victini in play. Hmm. I don't have Kelio either. I can't. How much are we doing? 40... 80, wait no, yeah, 40, 80, 120, 140, might as well just do 120. I guess we can sacrifice, I don't mind that. We'll do chorus for 8, maybe this can give us something good, I don't know. Okay, that's cool. I'm not going to Mega Evolve, just because then that makes Klefki a little more threatening. So yeah, there's not going to be any Mega Evolutions today, folks. In fact, we'll get rid of Celebi because I'm probably not going to use it. And I'll get rid of get rid of two, two more Metal Energies. Let's keep filling up the discard with them. I'm going to spread the energy out a little bit. I don't want to put it all into Steelix just in case we see like a Lysander or something like that knocking out Steelix because that would be pretty suicidal. I think I'll put on the Lele then. We need Ultra Ball. I don't think we do. We can end him to uh, 4 next turn, which seems like a fun play. And then we can finish him off with like another Lele. Though Steelix is the star of the show. But yeah, we can grab Victini and all that's good. I am kind of worried about Vespaquin coming into play. We're going to see if he's Seeker. Just for an end though, so that's fine. As long as it ain't for ya boy. Ya boy, ya boy Guzman? No, ya boy thing. You know you know what I mean. Ya boy, uh, yeah, Guzman. Guzman. I don't know why I'm talking Italian, even though I am Italian, but I don't speak Italian, I speak Canadian. <laughs> uh, we see an invisible card, which is an Acrobike. More Pokemon to discard. I'm kind of scared of Zoark, I guess, too. Didn't consider that. At least he's given up two DCs here, which is actually kind of cool. He's not using up these Cleft Keys. I mean, I'm not going to put Mega Steelix and play this game. I don't play Spirit Link. So, yeah. 
We do have an attack here with Steelix. But I think I'd rather knock him out with Lele. We'll bring him up anyways, just because he has an energy on him. And we will attach the active. Yeah, we didn't even have any metals to discard, so you see why. And we will hit him with an end here. And let's see if we can find, like, another Pokemon. Okay, we got our Steelix once again. I might as well put another one down. Is it worth it? I mean, our Lele's gone, but I'd honestly almost rather have, like, Victini or something. So I think I'll wait on that. Lele's putting on enough pressure. Besides, I'm just going to fill up Zoark, and then maybe he could Zoark DC, Choice Band, knock me out. So yeah, I think I'd rather just do that. We get a Wishful Baton, which is really good. We got a Victini, which is also good. So we are looking pretty prime right now. How many Pokemon has he discarded? Three, four, six, not a lot. Plus he's just used up two DCs, and maybe he won't find Special Charge. Never mind. Now the good thing is, he hasn't really discarded that many Pokemon, and it, he has gone through quite a few turns here, so that's also pretty good. How many Pokemon did he just discard there? Three, he hasn't even gotten that many in the discard. Hopefully his bike doesn't get a Pokemon. No. I, does he play Battle Compressor? I honestly don't think he does. I have not seen that many, like, actual expanded cards. Like, I haven't seen any, like, Chorus. It seems just like he's playing a pre-rotation Primal Clash to Guardians Rising Vespaquin deck. Okay, he can do the Klefki, I guess, but that's not 30, 40, 50, 60. Yeah, he's not doing that much damage still. 40, 50, yeah. As long as he doesn't find that special charge, that's the most important thing here. But he probably has a teammate in his hand. Be Revenge 110, okay. I think they'll knock him out with... Actually, no, that'd be dumb, because he could maybe knock him at Gearna. I think it's the moment... It is the time, people, where we go into our... Wait, hold on. Yeah, I think we go into Steelix here. Uh, maybe I should just Lysander that out and took it out my gear now. I don't know. Whatever. Let's just go Chorus. Should probably should have done that, honestly. We whiffed the knockout. How is that even possible? Well, we didn't whiff it. We still have it with, like, uh, whatever. That's fine. We didn't whiff the knockout. I thought we did for a minute. I was like, are you serious? We, yeah, we do have the knockout next turn. So, yeah, we're okay, I guess. We can do Wild Edge. When I'm with you, all I get is Wild Edge thoughts. So we will knock out this thing, and then next turn, we do win the game if he does not end me to two. Which, I think it'll happen, yeah. He's gonna definitely end me to, to want to two here, most likely. Oh, both of teams were prized! I didn't even realize. There you go. Question is, will he knock me out, and will he end me to two? An end to two would be devastating, because we only have Guzman, one via Seeker left. And we've lost Bold Lele, so the odds of actually hitting it would be really hard to get. Sycamore, we win! I guess. Unless he plays the surprise red card. He had these V Seekers, and he didn't go for that. I mean, I guess, because he wouldn't have drawn into the DC as well, I guess? I mean, I guess that's, I guess that's the uh, logic there. Hmm. As much as I want to wrap the game with an Iron Tail... I need to just wrap the game up with a uh, big ol' Steelix play. I think he just doesn't have... I mean, he can try and mill his hand down, but we still have the game here. Because Magirna can knock out the Orang... Or not the Orang, the Shaman. <laughs> I do want to go for the win with Iron Tail. I mean, we didn't get to use Iron Tail as much as I wanted to. But, you know, it is what it is. He did fire... Okay, he does actually have a knockout. So yeah, we definitely will win the game, because we're going to lose our Steelix anyways, so that's fine. I mean, if he had a play where he pulled it off and then me to two and I didn't get what I needed, yeah, we probably would have lost the game. But yeah, it looks like we are able to pull off a win unless we're going crazy, which I don't think we are. So, rip Steelix, you were a trooper in the war against Vespaquin. But, we're able to win. Someone is calling my phone. But whatever, I'll just I'll just ignore it. <laughs> the recording is better, you know. I do this for you people, and uh, yeah, we will wrap the game up here. 
with a good old Soul Blaster, knocking out Shaman. Very, very close game against Vespa Quinn. Um, pretty close, actually. He came really close to winning. He just needed two prizes left. But we're able to wrap up the game. And I think that'll wrap up the video. Bit of a shorter one today, guys. Unfortunately, we weren't able to really use Iron Tail as much as I did. We got to use it once, and it just did not work for us. So, uh, yeah, maybe it was best for me not to do it. I mean, I could have maybe tried and set up an Iron Tail, but it is what it is. Uh, do we get it? No, we don't. Must have bought that from the shop or something. But yeah, that'll wrap up the day's video. Um, the Steelix deck was pretty cool. It was a fun deck to play. I think the edited version was so much better than the other version we were playing with before. So this version was 20 times better in my opinion. And uh, that was a pretty, pretty good showcase of the deck, I think. So thanks for watching the video. Thanks for watching Crazy Deck Combo. If you have a crazy deck in mind, leave it down in the comments down below. And uh, I'll consider doing it. Subscribe to help me on the road 2,000 subs. Can we hit 2k subs by October? Alright guys, let's go get one last game. And I kind of feel bad that I didn't really do that many games with this deck. Not to mention, we didn't show off the Steelix Victini combo. I kind of feel like I cheated you guys out with that. So I was like, screw it. Let's just try and... Um, let's just get one more game in with our deck. And try and have some fun. Probably not have fun, but we'll see. I think in those last two games, we ended up winning them, and go from there, we can try and get at least one fun match in, where we focus more on the Victini-Steelix combo, than just straight up trying to play it smart and, you know, conserving our energy, because throughout most of that match, we kind of just saved our energy there. So we're going to try and not do that. I'm playing against a dark deck, so this could either be Dark Knight, which is good because we have to make Steelix, or it could be Eveltal, which is bad because we need 5 energy to attack. So... Either way, we're screwed. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Either way, we're going to be screwed and we're going to lose. kind of want him to end me because I don't like this hand. See a Sneasel go down. Okay, I don't know what we're playing against. Alright, we'll end him here and try and find a good hand. I mean, that's not good at all. I guess Victini is just going to take a hit here. And I guess next turn we'll have to go into a Lele. Sucks we didn't find any Bronze Wars there. See a Dangerous Energy go on, which is interesting. Um, so I know this, like, if I think if we attack, he takes two damage. And, you know, we use the X's, because I know Dangerous Energy does not work with GX's. Um... Yeah, it just seems like a bad thing for me. I don't know, my opponent's taking a while here to do his attack, but with the thing with Oblivion Wing is... Uh, he doesn't have an energy to discard, so... I don't know what's going on there. We are actually able to do a pretty cool play here. We can Ultra Ball um, Lele for Sycamore. And we can also... Um, I think I'm just going to attack with Lele. We can actually Rest Touch with the Bronze Wing back in our deck instead of just straight up having to discard it there. So that actually works out. Wow, we have like no supporters in our deck! What the fudge? Alright, well, we're gonna probably just have him attack him with Lele here. Might as well. I don't you know, obviously want to take damage with Steelix. Probably not gonna be able to attack with Steelix anyways, so. We'll probably a Sika, try and get a Bronze Ore. Hey, this game's like, yo, I heard you need Bronze Ore. So we'll retreat into Lele. Sadly, no VS Seekers or supporters, so we're gonna have a bit of a dead hand for a minute. We have no energy in the discard, so we can't even attack him with Steelix next turn. Unless we top deck like an Ultra Ball or something. Um, but I'm gonna let him attack my Lele. And just use it for cannon fodder for now. Oh my god, Eveltal, I was scared of that. Oh no. I was hoping it was a Dark Ride deck, because like, we need 5 energy to attack! That's so bad for Eveltal. Okay, we got another DC. <laughs> Not very good. Um, I'm just gonna attach a metal and then save it for next turn. Cause then what we can do next turn is try and iron tail the Eveltal. Keep Lele. Lele can be a good way to take Eveltal out. We'll take our prize, see what we get. Get a metal energy. More energy. But no supporters, and I have a few prize, so I was expecting to get a supporter of the prizes there, but you can't always win on PDCGO. He is bringing out Sneasel, which is clever because he knows I'll probably go into Steelix. Or he knows I'm gonna try and knock that out. We are gonna see a flare gun. Kinda knew he played those annoying cards. See a Nyan roll. And we're not gonna be able to attack him with Lele this turn, but I think it's fine. 
Hmm. I have to put a DC on our Steelix, which is kind of bad. And I guess we will go with... I mean, we can just knock out Wild Edge. I was going to do Iron Tail there, but I'm just going to play it safe in Wild Edge. I don't want to... I want to strain away from using Wild Edge this game, or even attack with Lele and Magirna, but... What's happening? There we go. We finally got a Sycamore, which is perfect. Now we're going to get back in this game. The cool thing here, Eveltal will probably not be able to attack me. Unless he finds, like, Aether or something. I don't know. And, alright. We're going to see if we can win this turn. Here we go. Uh, is it going to play the Sycamore? It is. Okay, let's see if we can win this turn. Um, but, you know, not to be a slow rolling, you know... Not to be a slow roller, but I am going to try and play it safe. Because again, you never know, my opponent could easily, you know, we could easily hit double tails or not hit both heads. So I'm going to try and at least play it safe. We're going to go for Iron Tail. Can we hit double heads to win the game? If the game wants to work, it is not. Oh my god, if I get disconnected, I'm going to punch a hole in my wall. Be right back. Oh no, is it going to disconnect me? Okay, good. Um, we are going to reflip here. Please, please work, please work. This is the one time I need you. I don't know why my internet's doing this. I am home alone. And no, double tails! Steelix, you suck! Dude, that is... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? We get double tails on the reflip and we get lag. Bruh, are you kidding me? Alright, hopefully I can stop lagging here. The world. I'm home alone and I literally have my phone off for a reason so I don't get disconnected when I'm recording. So Okay, why is this Wi-Fi symbol popping up, dude? Go away. I'm not I'm not doing anything. No one else is in my house. I'm the only one using the internet. Oh my gosh. Oh, we don't have any other energy in the discard and we're out of things, so I think I'll just attach do chorus. Really was hoping for a, uh, for like an energy discard. I mean, I could technically maybe sacrifice Bronze Ore. I could put Mega Steelix into play. But then we're not going to use Iron Tail. So we're just going to double up on Bronze Long. Ah, oh, man, I don't have any energy in the discard to uh, be able to put onto my... Thing. Oh my gosh, that's so annoying. This is why it's a crazy combo deck, because Iron Tail is always going to whiff. Hmm. I don't know what to bring out. Like, man, I don't know. I mean, I guess we'll sacrifice Victini here, because we have one in our hand, so... That's fine. Another Eveltal. Ugh, oh, man, this is gonna be tough. It just sucks that we had to whiff like that. Double Tails and my game decided to lag. Wasn't very cool. Not cool. You do not know how not cool that is. If uh, you guys get that reference. Hopefully we don't see a Lysander on my Lele. I think that would be bad. Okay, just an Evil Ball. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we used our stretcher, so we're actually really short on Pokemon here. And let's see what we draw into. Celebi. Alright, I guess I can discard that. It's not too bad. Um, Sycamore or N? I think we Sycamore here. I would add him to 3, but I need to try and get like a good hand. I need to find like my Battle Compressor to be able to attack him here. Alright, that's fine, I guess. That works too. Assuming Battle Compressor is not in the prize. Oh my god, it is. Oh no, I could have attacked him here. Oh no, you have to be kidding me. My, oh my gosh, why? <gasps> I needed my Battle Compressor to be in my deck. Oh no. I, 
don't even have an ultra ball. Oh my god. Are you serious right now? I should have just got rid of the two medals, but I thought Battle Comp was in my deck. Oh no, we're good. Never mind. Oh no, what? I, okay, never mind. Never mind. False alarm, people. We're able to do this now. If we get double tails, guys, this is the end of the world. So here we go. We're going to do a little pre ritual warm up before we do this. We got to pray to the Pokey Gods, the PDCGO Gods, that we hit double heads here we can hit double heads we are golden even though we're probably gonna get knocked out in return but here we go double heads let's do this are you serious are we actually gonna get eight tails in a row Bruh. what yo i'm so bad steelix you suck you suck steelix what the heck was that you had one job to hit one heads and you didn't even hit it are you joking me Oh my god, I'm face palming so hard right now. Jeez. <laughs> why? Steelix, why? Like, can I get a bruh times 20? I'm probably going to include that in the, uh, the video, but are you kidding me? Steelix, you had one job. And you blew it. You suck, Steelix. Right, we're going to add him to one here. And we're just going to hope he doesn't have a card like an energy or something. And uh, basically, we're going to swing him with Lele here and just hope he does not. I actually think we're short a knockout. I don't know, actually. I guess we'll swing with Lele and hope we have the knockout here. I mean, we're just going to go wild. It doesn't really matter, does it? But, uh, we'll, we'll energy drive him here. For the knockout, alright, we do have a knockout, I was right. Now, if he has an energy, we lose. If he doesn't, we might actually be able to win the game. I don't know, though. I think we might be short. So, we brings out Baby Voltal. If we win with Tapu Lele, I mean, bruh, Steelix, you're, you're gonna be bad. Does he play a Ranguru? I don't think he does. I think I just saw a Dark in the deck. So, I don't think he has any way to get out of this. Unless this other card is hand is an energy, or like a Sycamore or something. I guess we'll find out. But he brought out the baby Voltal, meaning he might not have anything. Let's see. Oh boy, this is intense. I could go into McGarna too, but I don't know if I'll attack with it. I'm going to need to find an energy. Dude, how many energies are in the discard? Okay, we got a lot. I'm going to try and go into McGarna here. Yeah, I think I'm going to go into Magirna. Maybe. So still have a shot at winning the game. It's just, you know, Steelix isn't going to be the one to get me the win. Steelix did a total of 80 damage this match. A Lysander, okay. That's fine, actually. I mean, I was going to stand in. My opponent's a sad face. I feel bad. I feel bad. I feel bad. I mean, I feel even worse for myself for getting quad tails with Steelix. I mean, dude, how do you get four tails in a row with Bikini in play? Steelix, you need a slap to the face. Alright, let's see. What do we top deck? An energy. Hmm. Okay, if we do Lysander him here. We don't even have a Lysander in the discard. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna play with then. Um, yeah, that's fine. How much are we doing? 20... 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160. Do we have a knockout with Lele here? Let me count. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180. Ooh, we actually do have a KO with Lele here. Well, I mean, I was not expecting to win with Tapu Lele having about 50 million energies on it. Um, But yeah, it looks like uh, that's how we are going to be taking the game today is with... Tapu Lele having <laughs> Tapu Lele having eight energies on it. That's how we're gonna be winning today's match. Unfortunately, Steelix just did not work at all. I mean, I might as well grab Guzma because Guzma looks cooler than Lysander. But 
I mean, it's just, it's the saddest day. It's, it, this is the saddest day in PCGO history. I'm just going to get well played because the fact that we still are able to pull off a clutch win, even with those quad tails, is still a pretty amazing feat. Unfortunately, my boy Steelix just did not cut it. We got really just smoked there. Um, kind of made a misplay with that computer search. Kind of regret doing that. Um, I kind of regret, you know, like, oh no, we, I should have got rid of both medals, but it didn't matter. I, I, my math was kind of wrong there. Unfortunately, my boy, my boy Steelix got tails. Looks like, pardon me, it was just a dark box deck. But again, do not try this at home. I might act, I'm going to put that in the title. I'm going to title this video like crazy combo deck number three. Steelix Victini, do not try this at home, this deck sucks. In before everyone says that reaction to getting quad tails was fake, which it was not, it was not a fake reaction. That was a legit 100% real, 100% confirmed reaction. If I were to change anything about this deck, maybe I would take out Celebi, maybe i take out the Wishful Batons and put in like a 4 Steelix, and maybe like a Steelix Spirit Link. Um, maybe Shrine of Memories, I think this deck, maybe, maybe a Skyfield wouldn't be bad either. Um, wait, whoops. Maybe like a Skyfield won't be bad either. Um, I don't know. I, I'm trying to say this is going to be a competitive deck. It's not. It's a fun deck. Crazy combo deck. Um, but thanks for watching the video, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. We're pretty content. I'm rocking really fast. And I'll catch you guys on another video. Help me on the road 2K subs if I want to see if we can hit 2,000 subscribers by October 1st. Can we do it? I know we can. Thanks for watching the video. And um, Steelix, you suck a lot.